Yo, I have a co-commentator this time from the local uh, FGC jammers of the same room. Good evening, everybody. Field. Did I get it right? You got it. Okay. You got it. I yeah, appreciate very... the effort. Oh, wait, this isn't exhibit set. This is loser semis, actually. This is the very end of... Uh... I only have four working USB ports, so we're doing on-screen keyboard. <laughs> the USB hubs are just haunted. Yeah, as loser semis, the last guys were out of five. That, that last match must have been really long. Wait, no, Dobi. Oh, it was Dobi Voskosa. Right, Marcus will be after this. Right, I've seen Dobi play Falco, but against me, I've seen him play uh, uh, Mario. I I guess he was the. No, he was the Kirby at the end of the last one. All right, so Dobi is. In the red on the left, Colesaw in the red on the right, is that correct? Yeah, Colesaw is definitely going to be the, the red Captain Falcon. I actually wasn't looking at character select to see who Toby picked. <laughs> Got it. If he's Falco, he's going to be green. And so they're going to Pokemon Stadium here. So in this version of Melee, does Pokemon Stadium switch, like in the original? Uh, no, we're playing, uh, don't tell Nintendo, I guess. Uh, we're playing a slightly modified version of Melee. We've also, there's, there's something happening at, like, uh, you could almost say the firmware level. We play with a thing called... Universal Controller Fix. Okay. Where, like, a while ago, I had, a friend taught me about Paper Mario speedrunning, how he's like, oh, I need my controller to have a notch and go at, like, the perfect angle to walk along the seam without falling off. Similar in Melee, there's, like, an obscure technique you can do on a platform called shield dropping, where, like, you can be uh -huh. shielding and thus blocking their attacks, but if you, like, roll Down your stick to the, to the side and then a certain way, you, uh, like, drop through the platform and are now airborne and actionable, so you can, like, block their thing and instantly punish them with an aerial attack. So it's a safer way to go down through the platform. Yeah, but not every controller could do it, and there's this weird, like, hunt of, like, oh, I gotta have the perfect GameCube controller that can do shield drops. So well, you're it's kind of been a patched firmware for, uh, change, and that yeah. firmware change allows every controller to do it. Yeah, and it makes it easier to, like, run back and forth that for similar related reasons, too. Yeah. So yeah, Stadium's not going to transform. It's going to be this permanently like long runway on the bottom that Captain Falcon kind of likes. Yeah. No top platform either. So uh, is that bad for Falco? Does Falco like? Falco's a, I would say, a glass cannon character. Uh, he has like strings that look really fancy. They aren't necessarily true combos, but like if your opponent makes the wrong decision over and over, they're just stuck in it longer. Oh, so he can. You can DI in this oh. game, like directional influence. You can like. By the way you're holding your sticks, yeah, we, we like see the same thing in Soul Calibur. When you're being comboed, oh, you can yeah, yeah, angle you can yourself out Soul exactly Calibur 2. and save yourself. It's Dude, a, it's a Soul Calibur 2 machine appeared downtown. I gotta plug some tokens in there. Where? Nothing. Where? A downtown in the mall. No way! Yeah, the oh Quas my God. Quasar's pop up arcade is there. They oh. deployed some machines and a token dispenser. Well, I'm gonna go grab the FGC guys because Soul Calibur 2 is absolutely sick. They used stage. to have it at the arcade in town. I never got to play it, but like, oh, I'm so ready now. Oh, That's the version of Soul Cal I learned how to play. <laughs> All right, so Dobby up by one stock here with a lot of damage on Captain Falcon. Yeah. Uh, At what point does one Dobby... One stray aerial will probably get him. Captain Falcon's got good recovery distance-wise, but his up -y, like a special triple jump move, doesn't have a hitbox. It's like an air grapple. With right. like a small hitbox. It's like a medicine ball by his belly. It's not very good. It's easy for other characters to stop. Got it. So he's just using that Falcon should have pretty good edge guarding with his lasers and downer. And this move, too. Oh, or actually he sticks his foot like farther than the edge. And like can cover like parachute down recoveries like that. Jesus, impossible <laughs> to get back with that guy. Oh, and yeah, that Dolby tried to interrupt or Colesaw. Colesaw tried to interrupt Dolby with a grab, but uh, the spacey shine is faster than a grab. But, spacey like, shine, frame the zero. Downbeat, even the yeah. FGC crew knows that. Yeah. Very broken move, short range, but uh, it's it just always wins. It's like a DP, I guess, but like yeah, just directly on top with no reach really. But really good combo tool here. Falco Shine pops them up, and Captain Falcon's like a heavy fast faller character. He's really easy to juggle. Yeah, they'll be doing a sick combo like this. This the looks dash so attack is alien cool. to me. It looks like vertical footsies. Yeah, kind of. Oh, that that was a really slick looking edge guard. You Dolby's played a uh, you played a how many so on this? Here. It's first to three. Uh, usually, but we're far enough in the bracket, it's out of five. Okay. I kind of, uh, when we have smaller brackets and we do, like, round robin instead, like, we just say everything's out of five. Wow. You get to play more Melee that way. The tempo's yeah, absolutely. nicer. Melee's kind of a fast-paced game, like Marvel 3, I think. I think you want, kind of want the, like, oh, I want, like, three chances. Yeah, or know? else the match only lasts 30 <laughs> seconds. Well, matches in this last about three or four minutes, even when it's, like, two aggressive characters like this trying to kill each other quickly. Right. Most of the melee cast is, like, floaty, like, falls really slowly, has less hit stun, and can, like, mash out of your combos with more of their moves. Oh, no, this Captain um, Falcon is falling hard. Like, oh, he looks yeah. heavy. Yeah, he is. He's heavy character. Yeah. 
He does run really fast. Fastest run speed in the game. Look how quickly he can you know, just clear territory here. Just distance. running across the runway here like an aircraft. Jeez, look at that Covers spike. Covers the giant install too. Wow. Yeah, you fall slower when you like deploy your reflector as a spacey. So okay, you can so mix that up in your recovery options. And make but, it like, with you. Yeah, Coleslaw read that. And like even though he could just like maybe try to do a side B and go right through me, like Falco's aerials actually have a lot of active frames. They last like so long, but he falls so quickly. Like you can't like really press a button off stage because you'll just fall too far to be able to recover. Right. That's a real slick wave land to and then F smash the other way by Dobie, by the way. Yeah, in this game you can like air dodge, you kinda like, you know, sidestep dodge yep. into the air and like become invincible for a bit, but then you fall under helpless. But if you air dodge you can move a bit when you start it up too. When you air dodge into the floor, you like go into a standing state a little bit later. It's called a wave dash. You can also do it like out of the air, and that's what Dobie did to get that real slick movement on the ground. And do the I see, yeah. After. There's yeah, a lot of small optimizations you can do in Smash, and now that we're kind of in like the the uh, yeah, top five of our tournament basically. Yeah, if this is loser semis, you know, loser gets fourth. That's a top four payout right there. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there's the shine stall again. And Coleslaw respecting it, like not, you know, running in but then faking out, but then Dobie still ran out of options and died anyway. He's not giving an absolute inch. Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> tipper up beat. Oh, I thought I could have reacted to that, but what do I yeah, know? Yeah, I know, like... What do I know? <laughs> That's what I mean. It's, it does have kind of a good hitbox, though. I can, I can, you know, can't really blame Coleslaw for not being able to stop it. Falcon might run really fast, but his aerials are like deceptively not that good. I think they kind of feel short ranged, where you have to aim them really carefully. Right. I play Ganon and Captain Falcon. I guess Captain Falcon's the character I'm, my high tier character I'm the best with. Ooh. <laughs> so what was that? They looked like they Coleslaw both tried to grab the edge at the same time. Yeah. There's no like. You can hog the edge in melee if you're already grabbing it, um, and yeah, you like, can have it. But yeah, Falco's side B there, that really quick Falco Phantasm. The hitbox is like behind him because it's like so fast, uh, but Coleslaw got hit by it. It sends you downward. You can jump out of it with good timing, but Coleslaw still like lost too much height, and Doby was already holding the ledge. There is no way Coleslaw could have come back from that. Yeah, that was a pretty tight Jeez. situation, basically. Like, I don't think Captain Falcon can get there in time. I don't think Coleslaw could have ran over there in time and, like, actually stolen the ledge. But Dobie, Dobie did the right play with, like, going for the side B as fast as possible. I see. But, so like, it was still, like, checkmate yeah. there. Yeah. Well, not like, maybe not checkmate, but, like, just kind of shenanigans -y. Like, Coleslaw committed really hard, but, like, didn't realize in time that, like, he couldn't actually threaten that one. He kind of had no, like, with him going down there, I don't know. I don't think there's a way he could have turned around to, like, moonwalk jump to, like, grab the ledge first. He could have maybe like ran up and done like a his forward tilt. You can like angle it ahead or downward. It's like a little like you know turning kick where you like kick the floor, I okay. guess. But I don't think Falcon. Yeah, I don't think you can try to hit the side B with that. But Captain Falcon's usually doesn't work like that. The hitbox isn't that extended out. Yeah, look at Falco's up tilt there. That's a far extended hitbox. It's like a whole like taco chip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can think of that move as a DP actually. Oh, he's just, oh, so was that another edge hog? Yeah, uh, he was like charging his up B, but you can't yeah. hover around while doing it. The spaces can grab the ledge while doing that. Got so that's what it. he did to kind of hover and then steal the ledge with good timing. Oh, he just had to hold it there, but Dobie jumped up too early. Oh, the down tilt after to catch that. <laughs> he's not <laughs> letting him up. He's not no letting way. him up. That jab down smash was like BM, and then it just went into a perfectly clean down B. Oh, the, that down was an absolute down bully. Yeah, Falco's downer. I call it the drumstick. It's a real big turkey leg, very disjointed hitbox, and it sends you downward and at a crooked angle, and you can't jump out of it either. You're just like, you're just sent straight down. That's why it's like a really good combo tool to like punt them back into the stage or to finish them off when they're off stage. Dobie might have had the chance. Oh, there. oh there's the Captain Falcon up. Yeah. No! Oh! Side he took again. a risk and he fell. Yeah, this is ridiculous to watch. Option. That Falco shine is absurd for keep out. You saw Captain Falcon get a grab, throw, go in for pressure, and instantly get knocked back by that shine. That move's ridiculous. Yeah, it's. I think you can outspace a grab with like really good spacing. Yeah. You kind of like run and like do like I guess a car grab, like jump cancel grab. Yeah. You like get your standing grab animation, but keep some of the sliding momentum on the ground. But like, yeah, that's like it. That's the thing. It, yeah, the spacey shine kind of is like a DP. It's like a breakout move. You gotta execution test them, see if their grab looping is frame right, perfect. Right, right. I love watching those two fighters going off the stage to try to keep each other down. There were all those yeah. bits there, like at the end. Well, Captain Falcon got a great stock there where he was off the edge, just dribbling Falco down. But then he did that again for his last stock. It was suicide, right? Falco turned it around and spiked him instead. It looks yeah. like you can take a lot of risk playing off the edge in this game. It's really, really fun to watch. 
Yeah, Falco's got a lot of options for that too. That's yeah, pretty cool. His downer sends them straight down as well. And yeah. Air combat looks tricky in this one. Who's usually at the advantage when you got one person above the other in the air? Is the guy on the bottom going to be the one who's most likely to get a hit? Yeah. Or are you safe? You only get in? you only get one double jump. Most characters. Yeah. Okay. Let me uh, bring up the vlog here, and we'll keep the chatter going in the next match, losers finals. 